in here. There's, there's, there's noise and everything. Anyway, hello. It has been over a month since we have made a video on Jurassic World the game. Why is that? Well, well, I've kind of been on holiday. So for the past two weeks-ish, it's just been scheduled content. So, and there was, you know, you kind of need to record these the day of. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, we've got something new. A trade multiple creatures at the same time to complete these exchanges. Get all your trades in before time runs out and check back often for new opportunities. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. All right. Okay. Well, hold, hold on a second. Okay. It's 230 DNA. Kind of need to have a look at this. We'll, we'll, we'll just collect this thing. The Acanto Stego. It's actually quite interesting. I think it's a Acanto Stego. Because in the trade hopper that we've just seen, they were, you know... Oh, God. You could get one of these by trading in uh, dinos. Interesting. Interesting. Now, I'm expecting that the whole trade, this whole d trade dinosaurs for other dinosaurs is not going to unlock them. I don't know. I don't think it will. I think you'll probably just get one. Um, but with that being the case, it's not really worth trading in anything, is it? Oh, no. Ah, oh, cool. Ah! Oh! So much for 230 DNA. One, two, three, four. Got 170. Well, as long as that incessant noise stops. Thank God. Right, give me that. Give me those. I didn't do anything with the Pterododo, but that's okay. Anyway, we also have a new event. Now, last time I think it was the big one. Uh, I didn't make a video showcasing it because it's pretty much just a raptor. I do have it, though. I did. I didn't get the season pass. It's interesting. Like sometimes Ludia, they'll give me the season pass. It was really cool, and it kind of incentivizes me to do more and play more of the game. However, they didn't with the last one, and they still have with this one. So I'm like, why? Why do they? Why sometimes do they decide he's been a good boy? Let's give it to him. And then other times they go. Eh, who cares? It was just, it was just pass it. It's weird. It's like all of a sudden they go, someone, whatever team's left in Jurassic World the game, because it feels like it's very small in comparison to Jurassic World Live, um, or at least, you know, from updates and all that jazz, feels like the, the few guys who are there be like, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, Game Beaver, how about we give them season pass? I completely forgot the last three months. This time we'll do it. Anyway, anyway. So, we'll see what we've got going on. Also, it says times two. Is, th is there a special, like, bonus going on at the moment? So we'll have a quick look at the other trade. We'll grab some of that. Uh, also, the trade harbor has changed. So it used to be 50 to refresh. And now you can use an advert if you so wished. Uh, I never do because I've... Uh, my time is worth more than a freaking advert. Um, also, I don't know if I have... We've got one hour left for that, which we're definitely not doing. We'll have a look in here to see if I have the Apatosaurus statue. I don't have an Apatosaurus statue. My God! Right, okay. It, wait, or do I? Place, place, place. No, I, I have one. I have one Apatosaurus statue. Sweet. Okay, we'll just quickly go make a couple of these. My bad. I didn't realize I didn't have any of these, which means... That when I do the trade harbor, um, I'm not going to have that as a thing to trade. And that is one of the best things to get. So we'll quickly go over here again. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here that I really need. You also notice we got 98 million, million uh, food. So we can definitely level up Chromo Spino all the way. Uh, sure, why not? I'll trade that. I need DNA if anything. Uh, sure, I'll trade that. Um... And unfortunately, I didn't get any there. But I will trade the Apatosaur statue for DNA. This is better than nothing. And they're not wasted. So there you go. We've got about like 600 DNA-ish uh, for those, which is brilliant. Um, just make sure I... Yes, okay. I'm not live streaming. Good, good, good. So what do we get here? The Feisty Flock. I can't remember what these guys are called, but... Also, the Cynosauroptrix, that's the one. They are already in Jurassic World Alive. I think it was funny because we had something that was in Jurassic World the game and not in Jurassic World Alive that came to Jurassic World Alive. Cryolophosaurus, that was it, uh, not too long ago. But they've extended this out so much 
So if you do get the season pass, I don't think you can make a level 40. I think you get about six or seven, even if you get lucky with like these fe uh, feisty flock packs. Um, it'd be interesting. Okay, let's have a look. So one, possibly two, three. Okay. Possibly four. Poss uh, five, six. Uh, so six so far, if you got lucky. Seven. So you're one off. You have to open all of these packs, get super lucky, and unlock it. Like, sorry, like, manage to pull it from the pack. And even then, paying for the season pass, you don't get a level 40, which is so weird to me. At least I have that as an incentive. Yes, you got all these extra missions. Who honestly cares? So, Chromo Spino, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be on the other island, but I'll use this to quickly find it. Where are you? Should be a meat eater. Uh, is it going to be near the bottom? Yes, there it is. Level 36. So we can get that to level 40. And that was like 20 freaking million. Woo. That's a lot of food. He's a big boy. Likes to eat. Or big girl. Uh, 11,000 health. And 3,488 attack. And uh, yeah. Oh, and you can take care of that. That's only 30 pet. Um, so we do have this as well, the dodo. Now we have the dodo already unlocked. Um, but this is a tournament. I don't know if we unlock it with the pack, though, that you get from it. It's a twin dodo pack. It says it's guaranteed. Doesn't say it's unlocked, though. Um, I'll have a quick check to see if... Now we could go to Nublar. Is dodo a carnival? I feel like it might be a carnival. Let's have a look. Dodo. Dodo. Right, so... Apparently, I haven't unlocked Overaptor, even though I just did a tournament and got it, I'm pretty sure. Um, I still don't have- I still see comments of people asking, Could you get Tyrannosaurus, please? I don't have an unlock- I think there's been two events for Dilophosaur Gen 2, apart from, you know, the first original one, which I didn't get it, and then another one, which I missed. I think I started it, though, but I, I got busy with some other stuff. Um, yeah, didn't- well, it's saying that I haven't unlocked the big one, which is interesting because I do have it. Let's have a look. So what do we have here? Ah, that's right. I did have that. Uh, Gilicus, which I'm not really too fussed about. Again, I just put these in because they took ages. I'm happy to, more than happy to sell these guys. Uh, if I really need them, I'll buy them. But if I'm honest, I very rarely use any aquatics, but they, oh, they have a treasure trove of food in them. So we'll quickly claim this. Anything interesting? More food. Sorry, not food. DNA. Uh, there you go. 500 of that. What's the next one? It's an Overraptor. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, there you go. We'll claim some of this. Claim a little bit more. Uh, they have switched up the missions somewhat. Sometimes it's complete five battles, which you see here. And sometimes it's not. Um, it's more annoying to complete five battles. Uh, I mean, to be fair... We could just do, like, do this battle, go quit, give up, and that counts for one of the fives. Uh, 15 and half as well as last time. So, yeah, there you go. That's counted as completing one of five battles. You can get lucky with some of the events that are just entering for coin, which is very nice, because then you can easily rattle through these, especially when it comes to use 55 carnivores like this one. You can just... Um, Find a battle like this that literally costs nothing to enter and just... I think you can use any common. So we could use, I don't know, those guys. Start, give it up, and I mean, if you've got lots of carnivores that are easy, like Majungasaurus, for instance, uh, they're instantly like refilled, whereas the Guanlong level, level 11 won't be. And that way, you can go into this. Already, we're on 4 out of 55. And that's a good way to cheese 885. Because if you've got 885, straight away, you've got a feisty flock. Um, but I wanted to have a look because there's some things I have not used. A lot of the power-ups, um, like four instant hatches, the speed-ups, other things I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, let's have a look. What what have I gotten recently? I know the Overaptor was one of the things. Let's have a look because I do want to see a new creature. And... 800,000 DNA is there anything in particular 
that we could get that might be worth our while. So we do have the big one. So I'll instant hatch that for 250. So at least we do get to see. Um, now, what I'm very curious about, I love this is just my reject corner for things that I'm like, ah, I don't know where they go. So the big one, its model looks slightly different. It's interesting because the Jurassic Park Raptors have a very specific model. Like, if you're a Jurassic Park fan or you know, or you're very, you know, acquainted with the Raptors from Jurassic Park, the first movie, you can take one look and go, yes, that is 100% Jurassic Park Raptor. The colors are great. However, the head is a Jurassic World Raptor. It's too elongated. I don't know what... Oh, no. Actually, you know, there it looks like it. But here does not look like it. I wonder if it's to do with the way it's posed. Ugh, I'm sorry. Get my headphones. I was crossing my arms to judge. And then I got them stuck in the headphone wise. Um, yeah, like there kind of looks like it. But to me, it's like it pops into the Jurassic Park Raptor and then goes back into normal. And I'm sure that's to do with the rig. Um, so, you know what? Actually, yeah, there you go. So I got level 10, 752 health and 235 attack damage. There you go. We have the big one. Woohoo. But that's not all I wanted to check out. Nicknamed by Robert Muldoon, the big one is the alpha female Velociraptor of Jurassic Park. This creature is also known as Clever Girl for her capacity to lethally outsmart her human prey. The big one rules over two Velociraptor subordinates and using a bait and ambush maneuver, the big one is the predator of both Robert Muldoon and Ray Arnold. Can we not just say like murderer? The pred predator? Sounds a bit weird when you call it, but anyway. This celebrity dinosaurs that have been in the game for a while, for me, they don't really do anything. And I don't think I'm alone echoing this sentiment. Like, we, you've got Blue, you've got Beta, and they're, they're all just kind of regular dinosaurs. They're like legendaries, or maybe like Rexy, for instance. They're maybe a little bit better than regular dinosaurs at level 40. Like, we've got a couple here. We've got three Rexies. I don't know how we've got three Rexies. Because I don't know if they have a hybrid or not. But so cool to actually see Rexy and the big one in Jurassic World the game. Like, almost 10 years after the game launched. In fact, I think it is 10 years. Because it came out in 2014, if I remember correctly. Or very early in 2015. So that is interesting. Um, but... They don't really serve any other purpose because you can't fuse them because they're like celebrity dinosaurs. Because to do that, it's like, well, they're no longer, you know, what they were meant for. So it is very interesting um, because for the longest time we were getting hybrids. It was like a new hybrid, a new hybrid, a new hybrid. And then I think it, that's kind of still happening, but not to the extent that we did used to see it. Now we got Bumpy, we got Rexy, we got Blue, we got Beta. Um, is there any other ones? Like, any, there should be another category for, like, those kinds of dinosaurs. Um, let's have a look. They do have a different look on their icon, so maybe... Yeah, so Bumpy Beta. Ghost, the big one. Blue, Panther, Rexy. Um, but the thing is, a lot of the times, they're not unlockable. You only get them in the pass or some other way that, you know, you can't actually just get loads of them. Um... So you can't get them to level 40. You've got a load of other dinosaurs, like the Bajadosaurus, which I didn't get. Struthiomimus. Uh, yeah, there's loads that I missed. This guy, the um, Nyctosaurus. This was another one that came out not too long ago. And I missed it because it was super quick. Um, now, the these sorts of tournament dinosaurs, like the Lovesaw Gen 2, Ceridactylus, make sense to put in the game because eventually they will get hybrids, like the Terra, Terra Quetzal. And the Tyrannolophosaurus, which I don't have. Um, or I don't even have... Do I have this guy? Oh, I do have this guy! I have little fatty toes! Oh! Hold on! This could be one that's worth it, actually. Because it's an amphibian. And really, the only good amphibian I have at the moment is Ostabasaurus. And Ostabasaurus ain't that good. Ooh, 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 evolve, instant fuse, let's go. Okay, now actually, can I get another one is the question. Right, we'll get you to level 20. So what does 310 health and 409 attack? 
Looks so odd. Anyway, tea break, guys. Grab your cup of tea. Ooh, look. My tea's pink because it's ube tea. That's right. I'm a weirdo. I'm a weeb. Woohoo. So I have been ill recently. Um, like, had a lovely time in the Philippines. But for the for half of it, I was, like, dead. Um, and still recovering from it now. I don't know what it was. It just doesn't really matter. I can't even... Oh, I can't even level it up. Ah! Yeah. How did I get two of them? See, this is the thing. I, I... Okay, I've unlocked blue, apparently. I've unlocked the dip lip sip sip sips. But I haven't unlocked any of these. I do have Panthera. Haven't unlocked it. I do have Dread Notice. I'm pretty sure. Haven't unlocked it. It's just so annoying that... Like, Rex... I got three Rexies. Haven't unlocked it. Ah, uh, it's just like meh. Why are you like this? Actually, hold on. What's the what's the most expensive one now? Okay, it's the Orphosepsis. That's the most expensive hybrid in the game. How many do I have? I have a level one. Oh no, I have one, and it's twenty. It's level twenty. So that means that I need six more. Oh, oh God, that's, but again, it's one of these creatures that's more health than attack and they always seem like terrible choices. Like we do have a level 40 Chromo Spinos. Um, the, oh, the Cryolophobergia in it, or whatever it's called. Hold on, let's have a look at these two. So yeah, it's got a thousand less health. Oh, but it has, it has like 500 less attack as well. For like 4,000 less DNA, really not worth it. Armada, I have a level 40. Chromos Spinus, I have a level 40. Iguana Sutures, I don't, but again. Ooh, saying that, it's got 3,000 attack. Scorpius Rex? We have level 40. I was going to say, surely I've got level 40 Scorpius Rex. Okay. Uh, Pachygalosaurus, I do have that. Metrophodon, yes. Secodonto one, though. No, not really. Do I have Zalmox? I have Zalmoxies. Oh, did something just happen? Something clock over? I think something clocked over. Is it new events? Um, oh, no, it's not. Okay. Well, so something just happened. I, don't, I heard that weird noise there. Uh, so we're going to market. Like, there's got to be something that I need. There has to be. Like, or something I can make. So go to Amber Market. Ah... Uh, just really doesn't feel like there is. They have, however, started to add new events into the game that have good prizes. But you need so many of the same creature. So it's like only T-Rex can, can participate and only T-Rex. And that's it. So you need like three level 40 T-Rexes and then three level level 30 T-Rexes. Basically, you need eight level 40 T-Rexes or 12 level 40 T-Rexes in order to do the event. Uh, and the prize is really good because um, it gives you bucks. It gives you so much. However, let's see if there's one in the cards coming up. Only herbivores. No, it's not one of those. Uh, not one of those. No, not any of that. Any creature. Ha! Huh, as if just to tell me like nah there's nothing there they're not showing it okay that's interesting right well battle stage infinite has the offices and the other thing that i can't even freaking get brilliant okay let's have a look at flyers Ooh, okay i'm gonna put zelmonodon in and then let's put in because they'll switch to alangosaurus We'll switch to that. And then when they do that, I need something to kill a Langosaurus. I don't really have anything too crazy, except for Indoraptor. I think I'll put an Indoraptor, and then we'll switch to Metrophon. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can we do it? It all depends on what they do, because he can't kill me in two hits. It'll be very close. He'll do like seven to 8,000 damage, but he won't. I think he'll switch. Hmm. Did not factor in how much damage that thing did. So, Zalmonodon is doing what it needs to do. It's basically out here to get reserves and to die. Hopefully, hopefully, um, they use all their attacks. 
Six is attacking numbers. Oh, okay. There we go. Beautiful. That's that victory secured then. We can go for two attacks, four reserves, two blocks. And then Metrophodon is just going to sweep with this. Yeah, there you go. So it's about 10,000, 12,000. Yeah. I mean, I had a feeling that was pretty easy. Look at that thing. Weird looking. His eyes are looking in different directions. Oh, and it goes for full on four as well. Does actually kill Indoraptor. Damn. Okay, so we kill it in the three. Now, I need to make sure, even if I reduce his attack by half. How much damage? You 6,000. Okay, one, two, three. That'll do, I think. I don't think it's going to have more than 22,000 health. I should have checked that too. Yeah, 9,000. Okay. Wow. That thing's got... So it had like so much... Oh, and it freaking tried it though. What? Oh, you cheeky buggy. Okay, okay. But guys, leave in the comments down below what I should aim for. Because I feel like there's nothing else to, to really get at the moment. I've got like all the dinosaurs I could possibly want. And okay, let's check this card pack. So we get times two limited time subscriber bonus. And then another times two bonus. So really we want to open up some packs right now. Let's have a look. Solid gold. The Platybogenius or whatever it's called. I, it's not owned and I don't have it. However, I'm not spending 50,000 for it. Um, I don't have the Melionia. Uh, Overraptor. Hold on. Hold on. Let's have a look. Right, what's the best thing I have that's ready to hatch? We'll just scrub past all of the things that I don't have and don't care about to the things that I do have that I want to hatch. Oh, maybe maybe I should have went the other way. Yeah, yeah, probably should have went the other way. Wow, okay. There is a lot I don't have anymore. Oh my god, finally. Okay, so Overaptor is new. I, I mean, it's a VIP creature, so we can't really get any more of those. And Mondasaur, a Patasaur. Uh, I'm really at a loss. I'm still trying to get through all of my super rares. Look at that. 11 poster sutures, 19 entelodons, 22 raptors. Uh, what's the most I've got? 50 overcodons. And that's because I was just rattling through the battle stage infinites. Uh, load. So I was just getting so many dinosaurs. I have, I have so much DNA saved up. I wish I could just go sell all 40 Nundersuchers, all 36 Diplodus, because because I would just get thousands of DNA. But I can't. It's all stuck behind a freaking incubation period. Um, let's have a look. What do we have? Enosaurus, Gastornus, uh, Proceratosaurus. I mean, these things aren't really worth instant hatching because the VIPs hatch super quick. Um, I might as well just put you in, actually. It's saying it's 250, right? But it's five hours. So why? Hold on. Why would I spend 250 bucks to instant hatch it as well as waste an instant hatch when I could just get it for 100 bucks? You're not listening, are you? You're not, you're not listening. <laughs> you're not paying attention to your game. Oh, that was a cheeky shenanigans there. Good job I knew that the VIP was quick. All right, Proceratosaurus. I mean, because this is a dinosaur that's came from Jurassic World Alive, ah, it, the quality of the model is beautiful. It just shows that they can put really good and well detailed things into this game that came out 10 years ago. They can do it. And we can evolve it. Um, I mean, I might as well just waste an instant fuse because, you know, who cares? The golden pro Ceratosaurus. Glorious. And let's feed you up to level 20. 1,243 health and 999 attack. Oh, the dev... I was going to say the devils. The devs really had fun with you. They were like, well, this is almost a thousand. Let's just put one off it, you cheeky git. Oh, Ceratosaurus. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. 3.5 meters long. Ooh. Okay, so that's good. That's something, isn't it? Um, also, another thing that I barely pay any attention to are the Omegas. Because um, they do get power-up moves depending on what... If you prestige them. 
Okay. Not exactly too sure how you do that. Uh, let's have a look. Right. I think, yeah, Omega-09, it made more sense to just do one dinosaur up to, like, super max level. So, I think I've got all the moves. So, deal damage equal to 250%. I don't know what this was. Roar of Champions. Increase team HP by 50% and increase team attack by 50%. Of course, these are moves that you can keep on doing. Um, and I think... If you just have him out first, keep on doing it. Keep it, like, spam that ability. And then when it dies, the next thing comes in and just has so much health. Uh, what do you do? Wound all opposing creatures by 100% of attack power. Wounded creatures take an additional 33% of attack power as damage at the end of it. All opposing creatures? Like, the whole team? And Sabbath, remove two action points from opponent each turn for two turns! Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that little uh, animation there, but attacking the floor. Okay. Okay, you're looking good. What about you? Uh, gain one block point immediately next turn and gain one attack point. Feel like I've definitely seen that one before. Increase max HP by 25% and heal to full. As opposed to gain one attack points and increase attack by 25%. So, increase max HP by 25% or increase attack. I mean, if if what you're doing is basically just healing every time you do it and increasing your HP by 25%, and I think that stacks. So next time you do it, it's 25% extra of what you got and that previous 25%. So it just keeps getting, like, exponentially more. Uh, and that way you just won't die. But the thing is... The, the folly, how fun that sounds, it really does. The folly of it is that you can only use them in boss events. And the rewards for boss events seem good. Like, ooh, you could get all of these creatures, but you ain't getting it. You ain't. You, I mean, you're, you're probably not. You've got to defeat 19 foes. Oh, wait, hold on. Defeat 19 foes? And what can I use? I can use any of them. Ooh. Wait, how do I prestige? Unlocks at rank 2. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. 8, 9, 40. Oh, does it cost anything to prestige? 5,000 amber? Unlock a new prestige rank for your creature. Oh. Oh, I, just, I gained these. Oh. Oh. I never even noticed this. Okay, so it's prestige to level two, is it? And I get five. Oh, okay. New level maximum. Wait. Oh, okay. Right out for a second. I'm thinking, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you talking everything in the park? Can all be level 50? No, just these. Terrible scream. Right. So, I haven't unlocked that last one. That's why you're level 54. Because I, I had to get you up to that next level. Okay, okay. So, I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to give this a shot. Because... Oh, I can only use one? Wait, 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 Gain one action point to be used immediately. Gain revive ability. When KO'd, revive with 25% health. Increase team HP by 50%. Increase team attack. Does that count as... I mean, you're part of the team. Part of the crew. Part of the ship. I'll level you up a little bit more, because why not? You're an Omega. Right, okay. Let's, let's give this a shot. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Let's see how far we can get. Do I get to choose or do I just have a random one? I forget how this works. I'm very curious now. Again, doing a, a battle, a cool battle with the boss and everything. However, it's not a new battle arena. It's the same visitor center that we've seen so many times. I really wish they would do something different. All right, so you went for three. Uh, 
Wait. So where's... Where the heck is my... What do you call it? Where's my ability? Oh, is it... Is it not in... Oh, God, it's not in this arena. I leveled up Juggernaut being like, oh, yeah, we'll use that. Can't even use its ability. Right, I haven't even checked how many attacks it had. Okay, okay. We're level 55. We can do this. So, the max level you can get, these bosses must be level 60 then. Can't believe I wasted all that DNA on that Juggernaut. I could have I got this guy up to level 60, damn it. And it has been months since I've used all of that, like, boss DNA. Months. So it's going to take me months again to get that much. I mean, I haven't been doing the, the missions, to be fair. So if I probably knuckle down, look to the missions, I might be able to do it. <gasps> 45 damage! How dare. I suppose if you had the abilities, this would be way too easy. Let's go for that. Ha ha ha! Yes! Okay, 15 left. Doing good, doing good. Seems fairly easy at the moment. I mean, if we just look at this statistically, I've entered 30 bucks for this battle. 30 bucks, it's not much. If I manage to get through and defeat every creature, it'll be interesting to see what 30 bucks can get me. Now again, it's a spin wheel sort of prize and we don't know what I'm really gonna get. But, 30 bucks. Let's see. It would be interesting, however, to just do 100 battles of this and see what prizes we got. Average it out. How many times we won coin? How many times we won food? I'd like to do that. However, I don't have time for that. Unfortunately. I would. I would like to do that. It'd be quite interesting. Because is it really worth it? If I did 100 battles, that's... That's 3,000 bucks. Hmm. Because there, there will be ways that to make your, your books go far. There used to be a, a system where you could buy mystery packs for books. And it worked out way better to do that than anything else. Anything else you could spend your books on would not give you the amount of resources and dinosaurs and everything else that just buying the mystery packs would. However, once I made a video showcasing that, they got rid of them. And it's the same with the Battle Stage Infinite, right? You could refresh it, right? Like, you still had to use your same dinosaurs. You had to buy them back if you wanted to use them. The battles were just as difficult, but you could refresh to get a good pack. Um, but it's, it's just a shame that all these, you know, unique ways in the... Yes, it wasn't intended, but it was, it was something cool. You know, it made people want to play the game. More time in the game is better, right? No, no. It, it was stopping people from buying the latest card pack at a ridiculous price. So we got rid of it. Oh, I'd like... You know, I'd like to make a dinosaur game in a way. Because I see all of the, the sort of... Little nuances that either game devs miss in these ones. And, and fun aspects. Like, I would leave a glitch in to see if people can find it. Not a game-breaking glitch, just something that's fun. Because it's... I mean, that's what games were, right? Like, you could, you were exploring, you were seeing a new world and all that jazz. And now I'm starting to get a bit worried. We're getting towards dinosaurs that are uh, are doing a fair bit of damage to us. Gonna go for that. Yeah, gonna go for that. I see Roger Steger coming up next, and I don't like it. Thankfully, we still have our carnivore advantage going for us. Um, so, I don't know what power has, and I don't think I can check. Oh, I can check. 400. Okay, so one, one, two, one, and then one, two. Hopefully, yes. So that 384 attack gets turned into 200 attack. Now, bear in mind, it has six. It could still do a whopping amount of damage to us. Okay, there it is. So it's got two block. Oh, 850. That's not a hell to have. Right, I'm going to go for that. I, oh, it didn't even go for an all-out block. Okay, went for some reserve. Interesting, interesting. Once we get two more defeats, we've got gold. Not the best, but we'll see. Let's try that. Ah, I, I should I should have held off. That 272 attack gets turned. Oh, no, it's actually not too much. 
Tyrannosaur, you're kind of pathetic in this game. I've completely forgot. Even though you're the same size as a Godzilla Rex. Okay, so three. Yep, a little bit of damage. I'll take a little ditty bit of damage. Uh, I'm going to go for that. I know, I know. Yep, three was not worth it. But four reserve, saving it. You got five. Okay, okay. You go for two. Right, I'll take that. So you've got three possible blocks. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, they never seem to go for an all-out attack. They always, like, divvy up their uh, their points. So, if he went for five, I might be dead. But I don't think he will. I was hoping. I was really hoping that. Okay, okay. So, one, two, three, two. I'm gonna go for that. I think he might have had three block. He didn't. Okay. One more kill, and then we're through. And then I think we need to make two more after this. He's got five. It's pretty tricky now. Okay, but it's a Parasaur up next. But it is level 97. And that 97 Parasaur. Okay, so one, one, two, three. And then just two block. Okay, unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's going to have a lot of attack. Okay, we're on to level five. We need to kill two more. This is it. We just need to kill two more. But it's... I think he's killed me. Oh, I thought I'm... Okay. I'm... I'm oh, oh, this is close. Yes. Okay, this is close. This is close. Come on, go for four, please. <sighs> no. Okay, I'm going to have to play this cool. Because as long as I just have enough to go for an all-out attack on Lithornax, I'm good. I think this might kill me if he goes for... Oh, he doesn't. Okay, looking good. Uh, I'll go for three here because I think that's the most it can do and I'll go for three block. <gasps> no, no, it was the most it could do, but I didn't expect it to do it. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Okay, this could be it. The Thornax is killed in one hit. That's it, we won. We did it, we did it. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, Harry. Wow, that was close. Oh, he tried it. Bless him. He did. He could have went for four. And this is it. Let's finish it with a bang. I think it's a bite. Yum, yum. Whoa, there we go. So the best reward you can get in this arena we just got. Right, let's see. Now, there's a chance we could get a really good card pack. But I think it's way higher. Let's have a look. What are our chances? 40% chance of Amber. Basically, we're going to have way more chance of getting those resources. 1% chance of getting the Platinum Reward. Let's see. Let's spin. Most chance of getting Amber, but let's see. For 30 bucks, I got... <gasps> imagine. Imagine for 30 bucks, I got that pack. With 750 DNA. Now, what does that get you? How does that translate? Let's have a look. So, we've got the Amber Market. Uh, we'll do the other way. Oh, there's a lot of dinosaurs that I already have that are in here. So, um, guys, guys, Tajongosaurus. You heard that right, Tajongosaurus. I, I just did and won the best amber DNA or sorry amber you could get, and it was 750. It's not even half. It's not even a quarter. Of what a Tajongasaur costs. What's the, what's the most expensive that I got? 56,000. For a scap. I, let's say I won Amber every time. 10 battles takes me to 7,000. I would have to win like 50 battles or something like that. In order to afford one Scapaganathus. So that is 1,500 bucks. 1,500 bucks gets me... Now, it might get me other prizes, let's be honest. You spin the prize wheel, you might win something good. It just doesn't seem worth it. And that's the problem. I, I honestly feel like... Was it? Um, not Ludia. The Jam City. Maybe it's both. Are putting things in the game and not testing them. They're not really thinking things through. They go, oh, let's lock some dinosaurs in the Amber Market. 
that sounds good, right? It'll get people to maybe play different battles or, or you know, the, they have to level up different things. But when you're putting a Tijongosaurus at that higher price, and I'm, you know, someone who's played this game for God knows how long, and to have an Omega at level 55 in order to do this, which is already, like, ridiculous in itself, and... That's it. Actually, that event is done. I can't keep doing it. Uh, only Wait, only one creature? So 50 bucks and what do I win for this? I have a chance of winning a domination rewards. Okay, well, let's just do this because why not? I might as well. I've got you. Uh, a revive, I suppose? Sure. Two Omegas going at it? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, start. Just keep- I mean, he's not gonna kill me. I'll just keep putting them all into that and then do it. Um, yeah, it just doesn't seem like they thought that through. You know... Right, there we go. That- I think that takes us to 100. We should have that ready. Yep. Are you gonna- are you gonna do anything? I mean, I killed you in two hits, to be fair. Uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Okay, well... Not that it really makes much of a difference. I guess I could use this? Just in case. Rub salt in the wound, I suppose. And then just... I don't know. Go for, like, all attack? I got an extra action point, but you're definitely dead! He is! Actually defeated an Omega. Who would have thought we'd see the day? Right, and we've got gold rewards. So for 50 bucks, I got a Pteranodon. Uh, I got, oh, this is what I wanted it for. Boom, and then boom again. 2,600, ooh! That's so good. That, like, okay, that makes, that, that's worth, that's good, that's fun. Right? But I don't even know why I'm getting the extra times two. There's nothing on the game that's telling me, oh, extra rewards. Oh yeah, also it's clocked over now. Ah, uh, that must be more clocked over. And what did I win? 5,000 bucks, uh, which I guess isn't so bad, but when you spend 1,500 VIP points, you know, could could have, could have, I mean, what we can do, actually. Let's have a look. So I could get Pterodactylus for 20,000, but if we spend 10,000 on this pack, we get 2,500 DNA anyway. We get a cool creature that we can sell for 5,000 uh, DNA. And not only that, we get all of this. So, really, this pack only cost me 7,400 VIP points. And I got DNA. I got a uh, VIP creature. It's really, it's, it's like really good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That, that, that's like awesome. I, I love working out these little things. Like, oh my god, well... You know, if I had... Oh, okay, that's terrible. All coin and a tiny Caligris. We'll do one more. Oh, we're still getting... We're still... Okay, uh, 500 bucks. Okay, Pterodactylus is a very good creature. Uh, keep going. Okay, and then I just want to get 100,000. 100,000 VIP points. Let's let's go to that. And that is 5,000 DNA right there. Or, or the, the Orden Catfish or whatever it is. And then, of course, 2,600 of that. So I'll do one more because... Oh, it's all food and coins. So we've got Concavenator, but we also get another 2,600 of this. Takes us very close to 100,000. Awesome. And did we get anything for this? Open 17 card packs. Is there anything here that could give us anything good? Any creature? But that's not so bad, actually. Hell yeah. I mean, what do we win from this? Oh, this could be good. Okay, guys, quickly, we'll do this. We'll do this quickly. Uh, nothing too crazy. Three Indoraptors, because why not? First hit right off the bat. Kills it. Ah! Metrophodon taken out. Salmoxys comes in. It's a herbivore. Minus 50% attack. It's absolutely cacking his pants at this point. It goes for two hits. Does a decent amount of damage. Dies in one. We go for what? This is going to be the quickest sort of battles. As long as the next two battles are just as easy. I do. I like this game. I do. I genuinely do. And that's why I get annoyed when they add certain things to it. It's like, no, stop ruining it. And like I said, if 
if I could change one one thing about this game. Arenas. Mix them up. Add more. I don't care. Like, the budget that you're putting towards, um, like, new dinosaurs and stuff, just have one update where you, f you, you fix the arenas and you make some new ones. Just, just one update. Just put the brakes on whatever you're working on for one update and make it fun for the battle arenas. Um, ooh. Oh, yeah, this is tough. Very, very tough. Uh, again, though, I really don't see why I shouldn't just go for all Indoraptors, if I'm honest. I mean, yes, I do I'm not really getting any of the advantages of types, but... You know, he's going to do 3,000 damage, maybe 4,000. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And at this point, I can go for one attack. Oh, sorry, two attacks on one reserve and kill him. The Tuki Tukan's dead. Bleh. Right, and this guy has to go for two to kill me, and that's not a guaranteed kill. Oh. Giganotosaurus Gen 2 with the little horn, making it a weird pseudo Ceratosaurus. Kind of looks cool. Right, so it went for two attack. It has nothing. I can go for that. One reserve and kill it. Okay, now I'd love to see that. This Giganotosaurus Gen 2 in a nice environment where I can actually appreciate its colors because it's so dark, you can't see it with the shadow. So this goes for one attack, weirdly enough. Uh, and it can only go for like two blocks. So yep, definitely dead. Boom. Okay, one more. Come on, we got like 20 minutes now. 20 minutes. Some extra DNA. Right. And the last one, again. No real reason why we shouldn't just keep on going for carnivores. Right. Oh my god, 503 attack. No, Enosaurus. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, bless it, it tried. It tried. Now, can I kill it in two? No, I can't. You know what? We'll keep it alive. Because I can farm. I can farm action points from it. If I can farm action points... That's what we want to do. Yeah, you can go keep going for it. Go for it, buddy. We'll go for one. Reserve for three. And then I think it's just... That's it. We've done. I could probably go three attacks. Depends what he does here. He could kill me if he goes for three. Oh, he does. Whoa, wow. Would you look at that? All right. So one, two, three. Still kills you. And then four reserves. That's it. Flamethrower, the Sukumimus. Damn, that's still sticking in my brain somehow. Aram, uh, what's it called? Aramborgiana. Okay, yep, you killed it. Demetricanus, one of the super hybrids. And then Rajas Stager. Well, let, we might as well see the eight animation. How much damage? Level 40, maxed. No type of damage does Rajas Stager do? 34,000 damage. Wow. Well done. Well done. Well done. Round of applause. You did, you did great there. Gold reward. And I got lots of gold. Another Pteranodon. But important thing. There it is. Another 2,600. Oh, it's so good. No. Bad Owen. I don't care. Right. So we've also got this, which is complete some battles. Like I said, I mean, I could do this. Pet the dinosaur. One, two, three, four, five. Also, we haven't been to the trade harbor. I've completely forgot. I'm so sorry, guys. We just gotta quickly pet some things. There we go. No! Leave me alone! So that's 18 of that. This ends in two days, so if I wanted to, I guess I could keep up with this. Right, okay. Let's have a look at this trade harbor. What are we trading? So for an Acanthostega, which is a tournament creature, um, we could trade. A level 10 of all the basics. Now, if you don't have a Canthostega, could be worth it. Let's have a look at this one. Welcome to Jurassic World. A Triceratops, a Lanqua, a Limalemalemo, and a Majungasaur. Two of each, basically, because it's a level 20, and you need to feed it a little bit. For a super rare. Again? Maybe not so bad, actually, those two. And then this one, Bonitosaurus, of easy. Gallimimus, easy. Ankylosaur, easy. Level 30. Dimetrodon. Oh, but you unlock this. 
Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. It wants me to... I... What? What? Unlock Draco Rex. Is Draco Rex not... I've unlocked Draco Rex. What? What's going on? Game? Are you telling me your trade is that we'll give you a Draco Rex, but you need to give me all these other dinosaurs plus a Draco Rex? I'm speechless. I'm, you know what? I kind of want to do it just to be like, is this real? I thought maybe it was like, oh, showing you you'll get a level 10 Draco Rex, but no. It's le legit asking for a Draco Rex at level 10. For me to unlock Draco Rex. So, how do I have a Draco Rex to start with? Not only is it a bad trade, but how do I even get that trade if I don't have it? Interesting. It could be a good way in order to unlock certain dinosaurs. Because, like we've said in the past, and people have brought it to my attention, the dinosaurs that are in here are only amber dinosaurs. Like, you can't unlock some of these dinosaurs in regular battle stages for some reason. They took that out of the game. Again, I don't know why. They just want... They didn't think. So, if we go into the harbor and one of these dinosaurs is unlockable here. Now, Parasaur, again, was in that amber. I don't think you can unlock it normally. But here, yes, you trade all those dinosaurs, but you still don't unlock it. So it's like, why? Why did you do this? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Anyway, anyway. I'm going to leave it here. Because it's almost been an hour. But my god. I thought it was going to be a quick one. I thought it was going to be a quick one. Then just thing after thing started coming. Again, like I said. I still do really enjoy this. I'll put you in. Because why not? Yeah. Let's get you sword. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like. And until next time. I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.